My name is Simon Hobbs, I'm a uh, consultant vascular surgeon. Varicose veins are dilated, tortuous veins that commonly occur in the leg. They're due to high pressure within the veins and are normally caused by problems with the valves in the feeding veins. Valves are normally there to help flow of blood um, from the leg back to the heart. When you walk, your calf muscle squeezes the vein and helps the flow of blood back against gravity towards the heart. When you stand or sit still, the valve shut to stop the pooling of blood back down into the leg. When those valves fail, varicose veins can occur. A lot of people are worried about their cosmetic appearance, aching, swelling, throbbing of the veins, pain over the vein itself, and occasionally itching. A lot of people find that these symptoms are worse towards the end of the day when they've been on their feet all day. In more severe cases, people can get complications of their varicose veins, and this may include bleeding, thrombophlebitis, which is clot formation within the varicose veins themselves, which can lead to a quite a tender, painful red lump over the vein. And then as the venous disease progresses, people can get areas of brown skin staining, normally around the ankle or the shin area. We've seen great advances in the last sort of five, five, ten years. Things are moving forward. So one of the main advantages for, for, for these newer techniques is to get it out of the operating theatre into a treatment room or a procedure room, which is much less daunting for people. It's great to have people awake under local anaesthetic. It's, it's one of the greatest advances in medicine in the last sort of 50 years. Um, the ability to be able to speak to the patient, have music in the background playing. It's a, it's a nice, relaxed, informal atmosphere. And the benefit for the patients is that they can arrive half an hour beforehand and leave half an hour afterwards. It truly is a sort of a walk-in walk-out procedure with very little downtime. 